Hello, Art Citizens. My name is Courtney, and I'm a brain education instructor from Boston, Massachusetts. Today, I want to talk to you about how we can practice self-love using a simple ancient healing technique I was taught by Ilchi Lee, but you may also recognize it as a traditional prayer from Hawaii called Ho'oponopono. Naturally, I think most of us have the desire to improve our relationship, but how often do we think about our relationship with self? Because if we don't truly love ourselves, how can we truly love others? Perhaps the first relationship we should reconcile is the one with ourselves. By having conversations with our body, mind, and spirit, we can learn what it means to have a truly loving relationship. Because true love is not shown through gifts, roses, or chocolates. True love is built with trust over time through patient, loving, and understanding interactions. A healthy relationship needs good communication and active listening because when we converse sincerely, we can learn the true language of love and not just with a romantic partner, but with our friends, our family, and most importantly, ourselves. This technique is very simple. It's comprised of four phrases. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. These modest sentences when practiced sincerely, can help melt the tension around your heart. Often the reason why we have trouble loving ourselves is knowingly or unknowingly, we are holding on to old wounds from our past and negative beliefs about ourselves. This meditation helps to soften any walls we've built around the heart that block us from being able to feel true, unconditional love. If you're anything like I was, you may not even know how to say thank you or I love you sincerely. And how can we until we find and feel that within ourselves? All the jumble in your mind, all the emotions that weigh you down, these four phrases can help clear that, clean it out, and purify any resentments, frustrations, and regrets we may hold towards ourselves. And in doing so, help us find acceptance and peace within. Start by speaking from your heart what you truly feel sorry about towards yourself, not what you feel sorry about doing to others. Speak honestly to your heart, to your mind, to your body, without victim consciousness. I'm sorry I haven't been paying attention to you. I'm sorry that I didn't keep promises I made. I'm sorry for not believing in you. I'm sorry for making you feel small. This does not mean you've done anything wrong, but somewhere deep inside, many of us judge and blame ourselves. And that's what we want to practice forgiveness for. All the hurts we've inflicted on ourselves. This is cleaning it out to heal from those hurts. And in the process, cultivate self-empathy. Using these phrases helps express what blocks you from being able to feel or experience true love. Second is please forgive me. Please forgive me for being so critical. Please forgive me for not being patient. Please forgive me for not taking care of my body. Then try thank you. Thank you for this chance to be alive. Thank you for this opportunity to enjoy my life. Thank you even to all the challenges I encounter that help me grow. Thank you. Thank you for everything that has made me who I am. And finally, I love you. I love you for exactly who you are. I love all that you have been. I love all that you will be. I love you deeply, truly, and sincerely. Those first two phrases, I'm sorry, please forgive me, are cleansing and repenting to your true self. They are clearing out the pains around your heart. Thank you and I love you are helping you transcend, raising your vibration and level of consciousness, the one of hope, joy, and peace. And you can use this in so many ways towards yourself, your body, your soul, your heart. But Ilchi Lee also noted that you can practice this technique with anyone in your life and that any conflict can begin to clear up when this is done with sincerity. Even those who really hurt you, you can clean the karma between you and another person with these phrases. But even if you do it solely for yourself, this can make an enormous effect on your relationships because amazingly, self-healing doesn't exist within a vacuum. In the spiritual world, we are all connected and your willingness to heal yourself has the power to help others to heal within themselves too. In fact, if you look up Ho'oponopono, you'll find people actively use this meditation for other people and circumstances. For example, in the book Zero Limits by Joe Vitale, he tells the story about making friends with a psychologist in Hawaii, Dr. Hugh Len. Dr. Hugh Len went to work in a maximum security mental institution comprised of murderers, rapists, and people with severe mental disorders. Most of the patients had to be handcuffed due to their violent nature. Staff was getting injured and starting to not show up for work. Once Dr. Hugh Len arrived, 
things started to shift. Patients started participating in group activities and taking more responsibility for their own well being. Medications were being reduced. There was less need for restraints, and some patients were even starting to be released. However, Dr. Hewland's methods were quite unconventional. He often didn't see patients one to one. He even skipped most of the routine staff meetings. Instead, he sat with the patient's files and he meditated using these very same phrases I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you. Those words came to life as he focused deep inside himself and repented as if he had committed those crimes himself. He didn't see the patient and himself as separate entities. He believed that simply because those situations had come into his conscious awareness that the healing could be done within him. And if I remember correctly, they ended up closing that department of the hospital entirely. Sounds too good to be true? I'll drop a link for the book in the description below. However, that is secondary. Cultivating self-love should be first. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Cleaning out all the stuff that stops us from being able to love ourselves. It's letting go of hurt and pain. Because even if someone did something bad to me, inside my own heart, I'm hurting even more by holding on to it. When I can let go of those hurts, I can feel real love. And when we love and respect ourselves, naturally we can love and respect others our ability to love ripples out into our relationships into our communities so just by healing yourself you are having a positive impact on those around you and beyond but in order for these healing phrases to have power the mind and body must be connected through energy in a meditative state when you're connected to your body you're connected to your sincerity and you feel the energy of those phrases it becomes genuine you feel the energy of I love you. So stay tuned for a 10 minute routine for self healing and cultivating self love within. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to experience a full one hour of brain education, find a body and brain center near you. See you next time.